very comfortable. Yeah. When I was sitting in that chair and you were sitting here, I was like, I don't get that out for me. And then he said, he's like, oh, yeah. Like, it feels, like, it feels. I never sat. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're the flipping. Yeah, yeah, the only reason we're okay is because Dad's got his scotch. I got my exactly. Until that moment, it was like everyone was like this. I'm waiting because for Fred to hit him with mashed potatoes. That's right. <laughs> I know, the teens. And I think he purposely messed that scene up a couple of times because just so he could actually get to flick the mashed potatoes. And after like the fifth take, I'm like, we got it already. Yeah, I kept giving him bad notes. I go, no, I think if you flick it more, of course it would. Yeah, exactly. My he's, favorite he's episode was, I had one line, I went, hmm. Yes, you had that it? line a lot. I know, but I had what a was that episode? What was just that? We were sitting on the couch. You came home from school, remember? And, and, I, you, and you looked at me and you went, we were talking about uh, what a fun episode it was on my father's office because for us as kids and you know sharing this table and having this moment and being the way that the Arnold family would be here we really waited for you dad to come home yeah. that was the thing we lived for our dad to come home so to be able to go see where dad went you know, during the day and kind of de Norcom. demystify Norcom, mm -hmm. you know, it was, uh, what was I, I, Norcom? Great. Yeah, I thought the funniest moment, though, was when I walked in pissed off and yeah. Fred followed me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yes, he slammed the door. Yeah. That's yeah. right, it was time. He did exact mimic. Because yeah. I got so many mail from my father saying, now they know why I'm so grouchy when I come home, thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Scotch is the key. Scotch is the key. It worked every time. Yeah, Norma had this. Just keep them drunk. Squeeze we balls. We had the worst food. We had the worst food. It, we, yeah. we had the same thing. We had chops. Yeah, broccoli, mashed potatoes. I actually, Fred and I liked it. We loved it. Oh my gosh. We loved it. 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 It was it. We loved it. I understood that it was not it was gross and you weren't supposed to eat it. But I loved it. Yeah, that's why it was so good. It was comfortable. like, don't eat this. I'm like, well, we're going to finish our food now. Exactly. Uh, I eat a lot of a lot of food, TV a lot of proper food. I st there's still like a set food is like my favorite food. Oh. Yeah, because you can't that's so sad. Your life is forever ruined. Oh, completely. He was saying earlier he eats in like five seconds so that he can go play basketball. Right. Still, when he's thirty, whatever you are, thirty-one, whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'm not thirty-one. But thank you. No, I think set food to this day still has a real allure. It does. Yeah, it does. What do you think? Um, Dad, Dan, why why were you always so grumpy sometimes? Like when you would come, what was going on with your uh, character? I, Tell us about I it. thought Neil and Carol and Bob Rush wanted a realistic family, and I think most guys who work hard all day, That's you know, they're they working are. for one reason. They're not working for themselves. They're working for their family, and it gets on you. It's like, when do yeah. I get a break? I think that's a realistic show. That's why it's lasted so long. I always tell people it shows you what television can do if they really want it. I don't know that I don't know that people know how to do it anymore. I mean it's like it's well, not it's that easy to down. Write, We had write. three networks now there's six hundred people you know, there's nine thousand you know, nine hundred good writers spent over six hundred networks. You're not gonna have very But I've read I mean, even in that period I read so many pilots and series and the writing of this was so original, it stuck out in a way that nothing else did and, and it's you know, we were talking earlier about how real everything and the, the writing was so spectacularly spare and real. It was just more not, so for us because we grew up more with Donna Reed and Father Knows Best, and we, this was so much more real than that. Do you have a favorite episode? I gave her the duffel bag to go to college. Yeah, we, we talked about that. Yeah, yeah. That we talked about that. So moving. Yeah. Was that really yours? I remember yes. that being yours. It was yes. yours. Yeah, it was your duffel bag. That's what I thought. Yeah, and that was my idea.
I have the southern yeah. owl. No way. Yes, yeah. I did. What's yeah. the southern owl? Yes. It's, it's the sweatshirt. Sure. Whenever I worked college. on the car or on the right. roof, you yeah. know, when we'd always be doing that, I tomatoes. had a sweatshirt. Yeah. Tomatoes. Wait, you had that uh, sweatshirt? Southern owl football. Oh, my God. Because I asked for it. Why did you that sweatshirt? Because I asked for yeah. it. Yeah. Dad always loved should have asked. I've got these clothes. <laughs> because I knew you would only be a director, and I knew you'd be a producer. Now it comes out. You always said, you always said we'd always work with Jason. Yep. You always said that. Wow. Remember, remember he was the first one I ever saw with the song? That's right. Jason. That's, right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. You were the first one that ever saw with the song. The day I saw the wrestler on the set. I was three when I started you this show. show. And you were already producing wrestling, remember? Like it when you were 14. <laughs> oh, you said that for the game. I needed all those women wrestlers come to the set, those really cute girls in motorcycle boots. I remember those girls. Okay. You were a wild boy. At all of the age of seven. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And you had the body of a five-year-old. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I want. I wanted him to do the Mickey Rooney story as an actor, and I wanted him to do the uh, John, John Garfield. Garfield. Oh, John Jack Garfield. Yeah, he looks a lot like John. Yeah. Yeah. You do actually look like mm -hmm. John Garfield. Story should be told. Yeah. It's funny though how we kind of gravitated though towards what we ended up to be. You always gravitated and wanted to, you know, hang out in cameras, and yeah, cameras yeah. and you would always, always you know, move your chair kind of, you know, behind where the directors were and you would talk to them. And we had some from Tommy Shalom to Steve Miner to Ken Zapolsky. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. We were huge directors. And, and I gravitated towards the business side of it and how it all works and how you put these things, you know, together. Um, and these two are still acting all the time. So her and Broadway and the Odd Couple and Mom, she's every other month she's doing a play. And still doing it, so we 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 from you, Dad. Yeah, that's right. We're telling some great Dan and Dad stories. Well, the real play, the reason why he's a producer and he's a director is because we can act. Right. That's <laughs> well, because we did we did TV. Man. We're not real actors. Uh, you made that clear from day one. Uh, 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 yeah. Unless there's uh, unless there's twenty of us, you know, all sleeping on top of each other in his apartment in Hell's Kitchen. You know we're not actors, Fred. In a sink. You know why? In a sink. Uh, because the actor was first. What's that? The, the actor was first. The first caveman to stand up over the fire and tell the story of the hunt was the first actor. And since that day, it hasn't changed. Is what is exactly a producer we and a earlier. director does to help an actor tell a story. Right. The actor was first. See, this is so classic, Dan. Come on. We were just talking about you earlier. Had to, you know, it was all with great love. Oh, oh, sure. Sweet love oh. from you. No, but literally, Dad, Jason was, said in his audition, you said, you shouldn't do this. Just go to the theater. No, I uh, never. It's true. Yeah. 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 I, 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 like, no, I don't want to do this. No, Absolutely. I said he shouldn't do it, but to, in order to do theater. That's right. He said you won't be a real actor until you, you do, do theater. Do so do this and make sure you do theater. That's and right. clean the toilets. And clean the toilets. That's yeah, right. very important. No, we were telling some really great, all with love, great oh, stories. I'm sorry, but i got to go back. i got to go in this way. Dan is in a big TV series right now. Yeah. We love him, and we miss you so much. And but he knows. Like, too many people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> This has been it's wonderful. Been wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Oh, this has been really cute. so great to see you. Yeah. Nice. No, it yeah. has been. It's no, been great it's been, to see yeah. you all. It's been a long time. I think yeah. it's been really sad. And let's not <laughs> leave it. Let's not leave it so long next time. Yes. No, True. agree. So we're we're at my house soon, yeah. and then we have to go to New York. Uh, okay. Fine, we'll do yeah, two calls. Right. Let's do it. I got an East Coast contingency. Yeah, that's right. And Nashville. National, that's right, the third we'll just, we'll just do a national tour of seeing each other. Okay. Exactly. And then, ladies it. and gentlemen, Mr. Snuffy Walden. Snuffy Walden. Snuffy, talk about how brilliant the music is. Yeah. Take us home. Happy anniversary, Snuffy Walden. Thank you.